Bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. I'm back yet again. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for the opportunity to share with you. Today, I want to talk a little bit about being a prisoner. Amen. In the natural versus being a prisoner. Amen. In the spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you know, there's something about prisoners that, you know, for some reason, years and years, I have a sensitivity for people who are locked up. Amen. Now, you probably say, what is she talking about? Just vibe, vibe with me for, for a moment. There's a lot of uh, men uh, and women who are incarcerated, different situations. Obviously, some people need to get locked up. Amen. And thank God they're off the streets. But then you have others, amen, different categories that are locked up and they are innocent that they really did honestly didn't do anything amen that are it just so happens that for whatever reason the judge thought that they were guilty and they are unfortunately spending life sentences or doing some hard time in the correctional facility amen so we definitely have to keep each and every person in prayer whether they're there you know on purpose or they're there just by happenstance um Brothers and sisters, we just have to lift them up in prayer. I don't think I've done a video on prisoners um, yet, but um, in terms of, uh, you know, people who are locked up, I, um, you know, my heart goes out to them. It really does. Amen. And if you are viewing this video, um, you may not be amen, <laughs> physically locked up, but you may be spiritually locked up. Amen. You may be bound. Amen. To things that are in your life or uh, spiritually that the uh, enemy has hold on you with. And um, you want to break free. Sometimes you feel like, you know, you may be in that prison spiritually forever. Um, whether you're living in sin or doing things, amen, that's contrary to what God wants you to do. I'm going to let you know right now, amen, two stories that uh, stuck out to me in terms of a person being wrongfully accused or wrongfully imprisoned. And if you think about a lot of biblical stories, um, two in particular that I want to talk about, amen, uh, Paul, and I want to talk about uh, Joseph, amen. Joseph in the Bible, it was, um, and I'm paraphrasing, Joseph went through a lot, um, but his, uh, des his final destination, amen, was a, a blessed one amen he was wrongfully accused amen his brothers uh he had a lot of brothers he they wrongfully accused him because they felt that you know his parents were basically uh, obsessing over him or you know being that he had a gift of dreams joseph he uh you know was hated amen by his very brothers and they basically lied and said that you know he got killed, but basically he was taken by, you know, uh, people and thrown in, you know, as a prisoner. Um, amen. And, and, and again, he was covered in the midst of him going through. He was always covered by the Lord. And um, he actually got exalted. Amen. He was, quote unquote, like a vice president. Amen. Became like a vice president um, of the area. Amen. So he was working as a prisoner. But eventually, you know, the higher ups, if you would, saw, you know, his work was good. It just saw that he had um, just gift, like he stood out. Amen. And, and, and long story short, um, he was exalted, you know, and it came to the fact that his brothers, amen, the very ones, amen, that imp that got him or lied against him, uh, you know, was looking for his help, amen. And, um, you know, of course, the long story short, eventually, you know, they had to be tested like he, he, Joseph, tested his brothers and stuff like that. But eventually they came clean in terms of where their heart was. And, of course, you know, he opened up his heart, amen, and helped them out and helped a lot of other people. But I say this to say, amen, sometimes, brothers and sisters, God himself, Hashanda, will put you in a prison, amen, maybe a physical prison, maybe a spiritual prison, amen, so that you can what, look up and look out and look in in in, in, in grasp amen on to turn the lord amen you may be in a circumstance a financial circumstance i don't know who, who's watching this video you may be feeling that you are psychologically uh or, or mentally a prisoner or so many different ways that you feel amen in prison i'm here to tell you amen that jesus christ and jesus christ alone will set you free amen 
The other person was Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul was put uh, in prison, amen, and um, originally he was Saul, but God gave him his name Paul, amen, and, and he did um, some heinous things originally, amen, to Christians, heinous, killing them and just doing all types of things until God would had to blind him, amen, and strip him down and, um, you know, he, he eventually, you know, just to fast forward it, he was, uh, he was an apostle for nothing. Amen. He was a renegade. He was a trailblazer. I have a great respect for Paul. And, um, you know, he was, he was one of those persons, uh, you know, who didn't back down. Amen. Eventually, uh, he was, um, I mean, he wrote a lot of the epistles, uh, if you would. And, um, you know, it, it just say, it says this to say, you know, you wonder why certain circumstances are put before you. You wonder why you're tried in a fire. You wonder why you're put in certain, you know, uh, places that you feel like you're, you're bound. But brothers and sisters, I tell you, it's a, re it's a reason, you know, why people have to go through certain storms and certain tests. Amen. Because God is trying you in a fire. Amen. He's molding you and he's making you. He's, you know, I think about my life in general and, and a lot of the stuff that I've been through. Amen. And, and, and if you look, I look back at my life and, and I realize, amen, God was in the midst of it all. He was the one that got me through every, amen, circumstance, amen, shining like gold, uh, amen. And of course, I'm still going through things and I'm still going through trials and tribulations and things, amen, that I'm learning about myself, my character, um, and the mission, um, that God has for my life. Amen. But I tell you, the more I grasp on the Lord, amen, the more I realize and see, okay, this plan and that plan. I talk, I talked in the other video, amen, how, uh, you know, this lady hit my car and it was an older car that I had at the time. And at the time, you know, I, thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo! I was praying years ago. When I had that old car, right? I was praying. I'm thinking about it in hindsight. I when I had that car, right? That that the lady hit my car, right? At that time, when I when I had that car, I prayed, and I'm just because I just thought about it. I prayed years and months when I had the car, and I pr it was an answered prayer. That's what. It, and I prayed, and I said, Lord, I, I, I want a new vehicle. I, I was looking online for the vehicles, and I was praying. And um, I wanted a new vehicle. Amen. And um, he gave me the desires of my heart. But, you know, at the time when the lady, you know, hit my vehicle, um, she had a big old truck and she was at fault because she she went in reverse and she was, you know, trying to go to a casino. And you probably see one of the videos where I explain it. But just to paraphrase what happened to me, um, you know, she she hit my vehicle and um I tell you, that vehicle was totaled. It was totaled. And I was on my way to Bible study. And <laughs> ironically, but, uh, you know, at the time, man, when it happened, I'm like, Lord, why is this happening to me? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I got a new vehicle now. Praise God. I got a new car. And I'm not obsessing about vehicles or whatever. I'm just telling you, amen, how God may use a rough situation to bless your life or to, you know, amen. Can I get an amen? Sometimes you may have gone through the storm, but if it wasn't, amen, for that storm, you wouldn't be where you are right now, somebody who, uh, whoo! if it wasn't for God to cut you off from that bad relationship, if it wasn't for God to let that manager fire you, amen, and at the time you was perplexed. You wouldn't have that position, amen, or that job opportunity that you have right now. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, don't, uh, you know, think that um, being in, in, a, in a situation where you may feel that you're imprisoned or, you know, you may feel bound or whatever. Just just know that as long as you realize who is in control, which is God. Amen. He will lift you up. He will exalt you in his timing. You don't have to get in front of God and say, you know, God, let me help you out because you're taking too long. Let me help you out because this is too uncomfortable. No, he's refining you. Amen. He's stretching your life. He's stretching your character. Amen. So just go through it and just stand firm and just know that God is in control. This goes out to people 
like I said, I'm not quite sure if, you know, who's been viewing my vis videos that, you know, may know someone in prison or something about prison. I don't know. This, the emphasis there in Menace is about prison. I don't know why. But, um, you know, like I said, my heart goes out to people who were locked up. You know, I, I don't I don't take that lightly. But I tell you what, um, there's a lot of people who were in prison spiritually. Amen. And in a biblical time that were in, imprisoned. Um, no, in prison, excuse me, physically, but not in prison spiritually amen i tell you what think of think about dr king i mean think about just you know he was he was maybe prisoned physically but you know he was free he was free in a lot of ways but i don't want to go off on in a tangent but you get my point but brothers and sisters i'm letting you know amen that god knows all about it he's in control stand firm don't faint keep the faith all that good stuff. Amen. Because it's going to carry you through. It's very vitally important. Amen. To your spiritual walk in terms of where you are going in the future. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God sees you refined already. Amen. He sees your future. Amen. We're going through the preliminary steps because we're in a, a, a time frame. We, we live in a time frame dimension, amen? But God is out of time, meaning that he's not in the same dimension, amen, that we operate in. So just know that the battle is already won. If you look at, if you look at the back of the book in Revelation, amen, um, as long as you're in Christ, as long as you stand firm to the end, endure, amen, to the end, you realize, amen, that it was all well worth it and we win, amen? So stay encouraged. And um, until next video, um, bless the Lord. Check out that scripture that I have, amen, at the bottom. Um, and each and every scripture, amen, that I leave. It's some powerful stuff. And um, I don't know, you may not go to church or you may not, you know, uh, read the word all the time. Um, start with those scriptures. I'm telling you, the more that you exercise, amen, your faith, and as the more you get familiar with different scriptures, I'm telling you, you're going to have a desire and unction to read more. Not just my scriptures, but just you feel that yearning, amen, that God is telling you this day read your word this day or pray this day you know it's, it's it's not by chance amen he's building that communication with you amen he wants to talk with you amen he's been talking all day to you amen the question is have you been listening bless the lord until next time out